How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to The Disease is Deadlier Than the Plague by In a Nutshell. Alright, so as we conclude Science Month with this last video, you know, it's really, really cool. I was gonna, like, sit here and play the guessing game of what disease they were talking about, but sadly the thumbnail did give it away, you know, the white death, and that's obviously tuberculosis, and that stuff is no joke, man. I don't know that much about it. I do know it killed Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2, spoilers alert, but, like, it's just, like, all jokes aside, man, that is, like, very, very deadly stuff. Obviously, it kills the fast mature obviously deadlier than the plague so like i'm not gonna sit here and like try to understand like because like my knowledge of it is very little you know but like i'm still very excited because i don't know that much you know like hopefully kurt stagat does the, what they always do and like fills me in on the stuff i don't know and i do know it affects the lungs and stuff like that but like how it affects the lungs is still a mystery to me so i'm very excited to get this going so without any further ado here is this disease is deadlier than the plague hi steve here I? Today, I'm moving over as the voice of Kurtzgesagt for something really special. Okay, Our this is very friend, different. John Green would like to tell hey. you a story that's very close to his heart. Oh, so, let's hear is it, it close him because directly. it's personal? Hey, John. Hey, Steve. Uh, oh, I was Thanks expecting so a bird. <laughs> let's dive right in. Oh, I love this. The White Death has haunted humanity like no other disease. Following okay, us for illustration on point. Millions of years. It was there when we tamed fire, invented culture, oh. and ventured out of Africa to conquer the world. In 1815, it caused Honestly, I didn't know it was there this long. In, Britain. in the last 200 years, it killed a billion people. Oh, a billion with a B? Good God. Disasters combined. Yeah, I was about even to say. Today, it's the infectious disease with the highest kill count. But do you even know what we are talking about? I know We're it's tuberculosis. About Mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes tuberculosis, or TB, oh. our original arch enemy. I already hate right it. Now, <laughs> you didn't have to say arch enemy. Humans alive are infected with the bacterium. You may be one of them. Thank God so we have a cure, how right? Is it possible that we never hear about TB? Well, the White Death is the perfect Dude, human Dude, illustrations are on point, oh my God. But very quiet most of the time. Oh. Careful not to murder recklessly perfectly adapted to your immune system and oh i just hate it hi by the way i'm familiar with y'all guys at this point to kill what exactly makes it so powerful oh no the perfect human predator oh my god usually the bacterium enters your body through the airways and sets up home in the lungs a giant that's as far as my knowledge goes defended by billions of macrophages powerful guard cells that hunt and kill intruders. Does it kill them the off or something? is quickly attacked and devoured alive. Oh! Unfortunately, this is its plan. I was about the to say, is it like the parasite dudes? It's kind of parasite, an immune system Worser parasite. than that. Macrophages grab their victims, trap them inside a phagosome, and flood it with acid that rips them to pieces. Yeah, it does. But Learned TB that in other videos. a thick, waxy coat that makes it completely immune to those acids. Oh, that's Worse, terrifying. It captures and modifies the Has it always been that way, or has it adapted because of us? Host. Like a tiny vampire, the parasite slowly consumes the Oh, I was going to say cell. symbiote, but then vampire is a very excellent extremely word. Extremely slowly. Other microbes that make you sick multiply up to six. I was about to say their faster, job is to multiply. Exploding their numbers before the immune system but can slowly? eradicate them. But the White Death is so well adapted to you, it has already won by being here. No oh. need to rush <laughs> When its host cell is sucked dry and dies, the bacteria infect I guess it's slowly so your body doesn't detect Although it. these bacteria are Simplified stealthy, a lot. the decaying corpses they leave behind do activate a proper immune response. Oh, okay, never knows mind. something is up and mobilizes its forces. Man, your body be smart. But once again, this is part of the plan. I'm sorry? <laughs> and many other immune cells try to kill the bacteria. Please kill it. But that thick cell wall makes them a formidable fortress. Still. Resistant to many what attacks. What can kill it then? Oh my god. Attackers in the process. So when your cells can't kill them, they do the next best thing. Keep the parasites from escaping. A oh. brand new woma is formed. But then we won't have it for other diseases. In the center is a core of infected and dead macrophages. A pleasant home and food for the bacteria. Dude, the music and Other everything is on point in this. Oh my god. Death to contain it, Definitely adds doom and gloom to it. Where TB can sit for years. 
Worse, it is perfectly protected from medication and releases chemicals that make it hard for your heavy immune weapons I'm to I'm pretty sure activated. we have a cure for this thing, right? This is the stalemate version of tuberculosis. There's the more versions. Is sleeping and the bacteria eh. is doing its thing. This I is going hate on everything right about this thing. Two billion people. But in you said now, oh, 2023. The disease will become active. Active tuberculosis oh. is an emergency. Oh, okay. But again, a slow one. If your immune system is still can't slow, the infection anymore, granulomas burst. Suddenly, That's your terrible. Lungs are filled with macrophage oh, no. and fresh bacteria. Your immune system panics and overreacts. Hordes oh. of soldiers leave your blood and rush to the infected areas. That's they order bad. Inflammation and fluids flood into so your lungs. technically right. But unfortunately, your lungs are not made to be a battlefield. In their panic, your immune cells don't care. They're running oh, around with it's attacking things, everything. Oh, to no. purge the infection, but causing terrible damage. Is that a As the thing reference? As dead tissue amass, it becomes difficult to breathe, and you begin coughing hard. I was about to say, when does a cough come in? Blood. Uh oh, and again, this is part yeah, of Red the Dead plan, taught me that. Because now you spread millions of bacteria catching rides and everything the body tries to kill it with. It's just fever, like part of their plan. Your body is severely stressed. Oh, you turn into a ghost version of yourself. I'm almost there. <laughs> Even if you are treated, this phase can last weeks to months and is very serious. Really? Insufficiently treated, TB will over months, years, or even decades slowly oh, no. overtake your body. Especially for children or those already weakened, obviously be too much, and the disease wins. Usually, the it's children and elderly. The bacterium spreads to other organs. Lung function breaks down. Oh, it's down, more than the lungs. The Got it. Dies. Obviously, it would. 1.3 million people died this way in 2023. I'm sorry. I thought that would be way less. The worst kind of problem. Oh uh, yeah, that's an understatement. Tuberculosis is the worst kind of problem. You're gonna make more problems. Slow. Instead of killing millions quickly, like COVID, scaring a panicked humanity into frantic action, TB is a smoldering fire, killing too slowly for our short oh attention Oh my span. god, man. The symptoms are often mild for many months, so you don't- As soon as you start danger. coughing, man. Tuberculosis doesn't- uh, There it is again, you, except not just a bird. Wants to stay alive and spread. And to do so it's this, like a zombie it infection human going behavior. to pop culture, I the guess. The people you are most likely to infect are your family and friends, oh. co-workers, or neighbors. I mean, yeah, the people you're the usually people with, you spend but a lot of time with. I was getting when there. When COVID <laughs> brought the world to a halt, the average patient infected two to three people. An active Not TV terrible. Patient That's worse. Five to fifteen people. In Way world. worse. Most people catch it via breathing tiny droplets from a cough or sneeze. Just this breathing is the thing, man. Good God. Ventilated housing or workplaces. Yeah, which is that'll why do TV it. Exploded during the Industrial Revolution. And indeed, wherever we see new unplanned and overcrowded urbanization from Lagos to St. Petersburg. Good thing I'm in a rural area. The rise of the white Makes me hate the cities even more. It. Today, most cases of active tuberculosis, the version that spreads the disease further, can be cured with a hey, there it is. Okay. four different antibiotics. Longer than four but months? But if that's the case, how is this still the deadliest infectious disease on Earth? You got me. Between 1940 and 1965, humans developed several drugs to fight TB, oh. finally making it curable. Let's go. It was a true achievement of human Yeah, ingenuity. I'll say. A little too but late for Arthur Morgan, but... We did a great but... job of distributing the cure. While tuberculosis is almost extinct in much of Europe, the US, and the Middle East, it the is still boys. a very real threat in most of the world. Oh, that's terrible. TB kills people primarily in Africa, Why are we not South shipping America, it out faster? Asia. In 2022, uh, two highly populated of all TB cases Asia anyway were in just six countries: India, China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Pakistan, and Nigeria. Oh, Almost no. half of all tuberculosis deaths happened in Southeast Asia. But as it is, is a it still billion, by the way? Climate Jesus! Change, it was ignored instead of fought aggressively, which enabled more and Why? more strains of Obviously, slow death and all that, but... antibiotic resistance. Which is a problem because we kind of stopped making new drugs. In the first I'm 25 sorry? years of the antibiotic era, we developed eight. When we make more vaccines, you know, because TV. the thing evolves. And then, in the 40s, I'm assuming that's the same with tuberculosis. 65 and 2012, we developed none. Developing new drugs oh. is extremely expensive, and there was uh, no I concentrated guess. effort to eradicate TB, and there simply wasn't enough profit incentive. 
There is a vaccine, Come on, Bill Gates. But it's over Stop thinking with money and just help people. Particularly effective. But beginning in 2012, we did finally develop two new classes of drugs hey. to treat TB. A little hope along the horizon. At an inflection point again, as better vaccines are on the horizon. Hey, Companies that <laughs> almost my exact words. Tests also developed a quick test for TB. So okay. we now have a real opportunity to push this disease. Science back lady, you live for a long time. Forever. I but hope so, man. Oh my god. Know about TB. Yeah, this video like definitely now, helps. And to care about hey. it. <laughs> A century ago, in the United States, there were almost as many hospital beds for TB patients as for treating all other illnesses and injuries combined. Oh my god, I knew combined was coming, but still. The US, and then one day, it just wasn't anymore. And we can do this again. Let's go. 4, Hopefully worldwide, man. Tuberculosis yesterday. I'm and sorry? We don't have to accept a world where so many of us still die of a disease dude that is no that's blowing cure. my mind the white death in has one been day with us for millions of years kill it with it is time everything to i was gonna say just fire but without it the gates picture let's talk bad about bill gates whoops if you want to learn more about tuberculosis and the folks working to fight it through clinical trials and care delivery oh. and also learn how you can help Check oh, out yes, the organization please. Partners in Health at PIH.org slash programs slash tuberculosis. We've put a link in the description for you. Also, if this wasn't enough TB for you, there's a crash course lecture on the I history don't want it. and presence. Of I know you talk about the information, but we'll include a link to that as well. Steve, I'll see you on front. Nope. This isn't Vlogbrothers. Soon. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Steve. Oh, that was glorious, man. Like knowledge overload, by the way. I knew like little to none of any of that man oh my god all right so talk about like totally different video than all what i'm used to you know i'm used to obviously the narrator being his wacky self and talking about like all the birds and illustrations which that was there but like this was like a totally different vibe man like reality check definitely hit me with this one because it's like i assume like we found a cure and it's kind of like polio you know like it's like little to non-existent anymore but it's still killing like what did he say like freaking billions of people just in like a year span and i forgot the exact number for just one day but that is ridiculous man like i cannot get over that but like what he's saying about like the whole like okay well we cured ourselves and then we didn't really have a need to like mass produce and stuff because the budget wasn't there like that's a load of bull like i'm sorry for cussing but like come on man like you made to like do these vaccines to help people like who cares if you profit off of it that's what i absolutely hate about the like just hospitals and everything in general and like the medical field like it's so freaking backwards and stupid like oh we can't make profit so let's not help people like that's so freaking I'm sorry, but like, good God, <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to censor a lot of words in this final thought section, but dude, I cannot get over it. Like this definitely, like I said, man, like it opened my eyes to this. Cause like I said, man, I thought this was like dead and done. Like just joking about Arthur Morgan, a fictional character getting it and stuff like that. But this is real, man. This is like really, really like, dare I say worse than COVID, like a hundred times worse than COVID. Why do you say we only like affected two to five people with COVID, but like freaking up to 15 people with tuberculosis? like the fact that it's like you just breathe man and you could get it like that is scary stuff and like luckily like what he was saying at the very end you know like we did like produce a new vaccine or medicine whatever you want to call it like to prevent tuberculosis and stuff in the future but like i'd say it does it didn't come soon enough man like those freaking billions of death could have been prevented in my opinion but like i know it's a tricky matter and all that blah 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 and i don't know the ins and outs of it but like me like i guess my morals are too high to like understand the profit side of it like i really don't get it but all in all i'm gonna i need to stop babbling at this point but man i cannot get enough of this this was just like i said man lack of a better word it was definitely eye-opening and it was so different compared to all the other kurtz to get so i'm kind of glad this was the last one for science month because it was so different you know so all in all man fantastic video i need to go back to the video not just the subject itself but fantastic video man obviously the illustrations and everything the music like in this perfect fit for like the like i said during it like the doom and gloom of it but so i'm gonna stop babbling man so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so that said i have been master zero you guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days <laughs>